I wanted to grow my neck using specific methods I found online. Not surprisingly, people were curious. Liz, what is this? Wait, what are you doing? ¿Quieres hacer qué? I've always had a small neck that I wanted to change, and there's a reason for this. Oh, yeah. That's not natural. It's been 107 days. Oh. And there's a reason for this. Thick necks look good. Look at the comparison of these two pictures. There's no difference between the two apart from the thickness of the neck. Immediately you assume the person with the thicker neck is more attractive and more masculine. More practical uses of neck training are if you do contact sports, because of the strength of your neck, they reduce the amount of concussions that you get. Apart from that, neck training and having a stronger neck can actually reduce headaches. That was one of the main reasons that I did this as well and it worked. But hardly anyone knows how to train neck and even fewer people actually do it. So the problem is, where do you even start? I found out how to do this, I ordered the appropriate equipment and I got straight to business. All right, so this is day one before I had done any training. So it is day number one in the gym. To get a neck like Mike Tyson. I want to eat his children. After watching a few videos online, there are two exercises that you can do to really grow your neck. The first is neck extensions. Now, I do have this, this apparatus, which, which looks like a medieval torture device, but what you do, put it on like this, and you look like you're about to pull a cart, guaranteed to grow your neck, but also guaranteed to get many strange looks in the gym. So you put a weight on here, and that obviously puts pressure on the neck. And then we've got the trusted beanie where you put this on and you lie on your back. This is basically just to protect your head like this. And then you lift the weights up like this. So you put the weights, you've got the beanie. And these are, this is a five kg plate, which I think equates to about 10 pounds. Put this on the neck, hold the head, and try and not use your arms as much as possible. And this is extremely uncomfortable. So that doesn't feel good. I started off with five. I could barely get to 10. I know the neck, if you haven't used it a lot, if you haven't actually worked it, you're gonna get the so-called beginner gains. It should grow quite fast, so I think the strength will increase. You can buy this from the 50 Shades of Grey store online. I'm not sure what they used it for, but we're finding a purpose for it here. Put this on, look like an idiot. Never done this shit before. And just... Over the next three months, I'm gonna be doing this routine. I'm gonna be doing about two to three sets of extension, two to three sets of curls, probably about 15 to 20 reps each, and I'm gonna be gradually increasing the weight, just seeing how big it gets. All right, you can also do that. Don't know what that's called. Sideways uh, extension, sideways curl. Who the f knows, but I'll be putting that into the exercise plan as well. Um, again, I've never worked my neck before, so I think that it'll probably grow a lot, especially at the beginning. Over the next few months, I got stronger, the neck training got easier, and I started seeing massive results with the strength and also the thickness of my neck over time. Then the final day of training arrived. All right, today is the 27th of September. When I started this, it was the 12th of June, which means it's been 107 days since the first day I started training next. So today we're gonna do a comparison in terms of the strength, and then afterwards we're gonna go home and do a before and after video so that I can show you what the difference is after just over three months of training. Final result after 107 days of neck training.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>